So the part I'm going to read is chapter 21, which is in the first half of the book. And this is where um, Jason, uh, an ex-convict with a violent criminal history, has found out that his brother, who hasn't spoken to in 10 years, uh, has died, has been killed. And um, he has a six-year-old niece. And he's the only family member left in the world to this little girl. So Wanda, a very interesting and charismatic and experienced uh, social worker from New York Social Services, um, is trying to get Harvey and Jason to form a sort of relationship so that Jason, who uh, is an unlikely father figure, uh, might consider adopting her. Chapter 21. Over the next two weeks, Wanda and Harvey visited four more times. Wanda said she was balancing some serious juvenile cases and asked Jason if he minded being alone with Harvey while she ran errands. Harvey was talking more now, commenting on what they were watching when Jason muted the commercials. She kept asking to see the garage, wanted to know where each part would fit on the motorcycle and what its job was. When Jason showed her the spare room, Harvey asked to try out his drums. The room was such a mess, he had to carry her to the drum stool. Harvey touched the skins with her fingers, then tapped lightly to see what would happen. Jason found some sticks lying on the floor and told her to go crazy. He smoked out the window and listened to her bang around. When she got tired and her arms hung down, he told her it hadn't sounded half bad. She'd been trying to work the foot pedal too, so Jason flicked his cigarette into the yard and sat with her. He positioned her fingers properly on the drumsticks, then showed her a few things. Since her legs weren't long enough to reach the pedal, he told her, focus on the drumming and I'll do the footwork. When Wanda came to pick Harvey up a few hours later, she heard them through the door and sat down on the front stoop. When Harvey was in the car and ready to go, Wanda gave Jason a grey folder she'd brought from the office. She told him, that inside it showed the amount of disability he was getting from social services, plus the sum Harvey's grandparents would be getting each month to help pay for Harvey's food, clothes and outings if they adopted her. Wanda said it was a generous benefit that included health care and that whoever was appointed Harvey's guardian eventually by the courts would receive it every month to help raise her until she turned 18. Harvey watched from the back seat of Wanda's car. She imagined that Jason was telling Wanda how good she was on the drums and how she might grow up to be on stage someday because Jason had told her that, had said that she was that good and might be famous someday on stage. Harvey went over the whole afternoon with Jason in her head and then later on with Duncan, her doll, when she got back to the foster home. She squeezed Duncan's dull body, then put her cheek against his cheek, wondering what her mom and dad were doing in heaven, and if they could see her, and if they could read her thoughts.